Now, like I said, if you are looking to deck out your winter home, well, iFurnish is the place to go to here in Summit County. And I have Taryn joining me here from iFurnish. How are you doing this morning? Great. I'm glad I'm not outside in the wind chill. <laughs> it is. It was a very chilly morning this morning. It's been a colder winter than I feel like we've had in a while. Yeah. And well, also, I just want to mention that you guys just recently redid our studio here. So we've got some nice new furnishings so it was thank fun. you thank you guys for the opportunity to do so yeah great um so what do you do for um what is your position at iFurnish what do you do there I head up our interior design department for residential and then some commercial projects as well as work on our sales floor so anyone who has second third home can work with us to outfit their entire home or if you're just a local and you're looking to piece new chair and living yeah. room set we can help you with that too and you also mentioned uh, you do commercial projects as well. I remember reading that there's actually a number of businesses throughout Summit County that actually use you guys, right? There are. So we did Toast & Co. up at Copper, which was mm. a great project. We've done some things for Camp Hale as well and some additional projects throughout Breckenridge. We work really closely with Vail Resorts Properties, Copper ROS, uh, way too many to name. Yeah. So most likely people have already experienced basically the comfortable furniture and design that you guys offer at iFurnish. I hope so, and for those that haven't, <laughs> come in and see us. Yeah. Um, now, iFurnish kind of does a number of things. Uh, can you kind of explain all of that you guys do at iFurnish? So we have everything, I guess you'd normally say about the kitchen sink, but I guess we could probably get that too. <laughs> we have a mattress side of our business as well, so mm -hmm. that kind of helps, it's a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. We have 12,000 square feet, like I said, that you can go through. So your bedroom, dining, virtually every need. We've got bedding as far as sheets and that kind of thing as well. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about sort of what do you guys focus on in, in the furniture that, and offerings that you supply up here? As you know, living and working in this county, you may mm. not make the most money to afford that second or third home. Mm. So it's important to have an affordable option. Not all of, not all of us want to go down to Denver to try and find that bargain and yeah. then and don't then, want to have it trucked up here. Yeah, or try to lug it up yourself on I-70 when the snow is coming down. Yeah, even though we all have a friend with a truck, yeah. that guy with the truck <laughs> doesn't want to be that friend. Yeah, so we, you don't want to take advantage of that friend. <laughs> no, no, maybe once or twice, but you got to call it mm -hmm. fair. Mm -hmm. So we have great delivery teams. We run trucks every day throughout the county, which you'll probably see them around. Mm -hmm. We've got, I think, four trucks right mm -hmm. now, one little van and then three fully branded box trucks. Mm -hmm. And we deliver all the way out to Vail. We deliver to Steamboat. We even deliver down to Denver. So we've got a really broad range. Oh, that's and our guys work really hard to make sure that everybody's stuff is perfect. Yeah. And do you know, I don't know, if with you being an interior designer, I'm not sure if you know like what the turnaround time as far as like if you were to come into iFurnish, buy some furniture, like when delivery would be? You know, that can actually be a day up to 12 weeks. It really okay. depends on what the customer is looking for. Since we have okay. such a large showroom, we try to stock a lot of things because mm -hmm. we know that people, this is America, we want things fast. Yeah. <laughs> so we try to have as much as we can available for people, but mm -hmm. we do have special order programs, so. Okay, well that's also good to know, especially, you're not limited to just what's in this right. showroom. Right, oftentimes people come in and say, oh, I like that chair, but man, that just would not look good in my house. Mm -hmm. like, oh, we've got about 500 fabrics for that specific chair that we can Oh, do. that's good to know, yeah. So we work with over 50 manufacturers for people to pull from, so if you like contemporary, we have that. If you like more traditional, we can suit you that way. Now, uh, so you, you have mentioned that you have a large selection. Can you talk about maybe like the different sort of styles or trends that you guys supply? Well, I would say what's trending the most right now has been dubbed mountain modern. That uh -huh. kind of blends your warmer textures with wood and metal. So some of the pieces that you have on your set are prime examples. Are there other sorts of styles that people you find are still using up here in the mountains? Or? Transitional tends to work really well up here. So some of your <laughs> rounded arms, rounded arms are, okay. are pretty transitional. They can uh -huh. also go to traditional. Mm -hmm. We all know that the moose, bears, log cabin look, it's, mm -hmm. it's gone away, but it's never going to die. So Now, do you foresee any new trends coming into the future? If there's any of those people out there that want to... Have Absolutely. like the new next best thing before it comes out into Absolutely. Mainstream. And believe it or not, prints and patterns are coming back on oh, okay. large pieces of furniture, which we've seen solids 
for years. So it's kind of fun to be able to punch that up, you know, do a big buffalo check plaid on a couch and that you can still have a contemporary feel in your place, but have something that's a little cozy. Yeah, well, that's good to know because I know lots of times people will get attracted to something like that, super large prints, but they'll feel a little timid, like, oh, that's we're not quite ready for that. But if they know that that's the up and coming trend, it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, have fun, look yeah. a little. It's, it's your, your house. It's your place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're an adult, buy whatever you want. <laughs> exactly, and we'll try to make it as affordable as possible. <laughs> now, can you talk a little bit about uh, location and hours and other things that they need to know sure. about? Sure, so we also know that it's hard for people if you do work in the county mm -hmm. or if you just wanna be out enjoying the day to mm -hmm. get to a store if you're a 10 to five business. Mm -hmm. So we are open Monday through Thursday, nine to 6 p.m., which is a great range for people to hopefully make it to us. And then Fridays and Saturdays, we're open from uh, well, Fridays we're open 9 to 5, and then Saturdays 10 to 5. Sunday's the only day that we're closed. Okay. Yeah, it's good to make sure that you have one day of not doing one anything. One day of rest. I know people, you know, you can be busy all week long, but you need to make sure you have one day completely off on the weekend, right? It's true. you got to enjoy the place <laughs> that we live in. That's why we're here. Um, and the location. We are at 725 Ten Mile Drive. If you're familiar with the Alpine Bank there off okay. Highway 9 and Utopia Tire, we're right behind them. Okay, it's good to know. There's a bunch of businesses in that area, so I know I've driven past it a bunch of times, but it's good location in regards to everything in the county. It is great. We're pretty okay. central, and we're really fortunate to be there. Well, Taryn, thank you so much for coming in, and again, thank you for setting us up with our new set here in the studio. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, folks, be sure to pop into iFurnish and check out what the new upcoming trends are for furnishing your winter home.